probably the most emotional part of any publishing process, doesn't matter what kind of book you're making, is the cover. Our job is not to illustrate the book. Our job is to intrigue the consumer, to set the tone, set the stage, create an atmosphere. I'm trying to create something that will entice a reader to want to explore it and hopefully buy it. You really want to create a jacket that will survive, that will have an image that can be indelibly associated with the text and that people want to have in their houses for years to come. Finding the right look for a book involves first reading it. The first thing I try to do is find out as much about the book as possible. Talk to people about it. I meet with the editor and the publisher. I find out what the author has been thinking about their book cover while they're writing the book. So a close reading is absolutely crucial to my job. All of the cues that I take, I take from the text. The inspiration comes from what the author's done. In as much as I'm doing something creative, I'm doing it in service to them. We find inspiration uh, from all different places. Every book is different, all the authors are different. You never really want to call out a character in full because a very important part of reading is being able to imagine the characters yourself. So whenever you use a character on a jacket, it's very important to only show part of them. It's very intuitive. It's like you read something that feels like it should be represented by a photograph, even if it's fiction, or something feels like it should be illustrated. My feeling from the get-go with the Stieg Larsson books was that they needed something different. The type and the imagery sort of interact with one another, they sort of fold in and out. The big thing was, you know, can you get away with a day glow color on a book like this? Another one of the current things that um, it's going to be coming out in July that I worked on is the new novel by Henning Mankell. I was invited to give a talk in Stockholm. I went to the Museum of Photography just to, in case there might be something interesting to, to use on this book. And and I saw this this image and uh, it was just perfect. One, one day my daughter came into the office and uh, had her lay her hair down on the Xerox machine bed and that hair became the girl who played with fire. So this is my daughter Violet's hair, which she's always happy to tell everybody in every bookstore that we've ever been in. One of my favorite covers that I've worked on is The Dinner. We ended up doing version after version after version, only to end up at the very first cover that we started out with. In the end, actually, uh, it was the author who convinced us to stay with the cover that we had from the beginning. I often, before I'll even show anything to an editor or an author, I'll do many, many versions. I'll do as many as it takes to get it right. When I started to work on Salt, Sugar, Fat, how the food giants hooked us, we needed something that was really hard hitting. Our first sketches started with just the idea of sugar. We had the giant gummy bear, which was incredibly ominous and attractive and weird, but ultimately, didn't say much about the corporations, it was much more appealing to kids. We moved away from images and we moved towards all type, strong, graphic, bold, and it was boring. And we ended up with two designs, very simple minimalist ingredient panel, but in the end that was too quiet. And the other one, which ended up on the cover of the book, is kind of a ransom note title made up of all the packages that are mentioned in the book. One of the latest things that I'm working on is um, a book by David Rakoff. This is basically what I did just to get everybody on board with the project. It's, we're not saying we're using this exact illustration, but this is what his work looks like and this is how it um, fits with the style of the writing. This was one of the early sketches. It didn't have the right feel and, and this is when art direction comes into the process of, all right, uh, it's a good start. It needs a more delicate sensibility. He moved to this, which was much better. I just thought the hair, it's a little too much. Like we can just give her a little bit of a haircut. This also allowed uh, me to move his name to the top. I love what I do because the authors love what they do and they bring that passion with them here and then we're gonna help them take whatever they've made and we're gonna broadcast it to the world in the best possible sense.